Be inspired, supported, and empowered. This is the Global Healthy Living Foundation Podcast Network. Hello, and welcome to Talking Head Pain, the podcast that confronts head pain head on. Hi, I'm Joe Ko, Director of Education Digital Strategy at the Global Healthy Living Foundation and a migraine patient for over 20 years. I'm here at Headache on the Hill. I'm getting to connect with Natalie Copeland, who is from Vermont, and this is her first time at Headache on the Hill and engaging in advocacy. How are you doing today, Natalie? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. So can you tell me a little bit why it's important for you from Vermont, being the first time here, to share your migraine story and engage in Headache on the Hill? I think there's a lot of misconceptions about migraines. It takes a lot to try to get care for migraines, so it's important to raise awareness and give back to a community that I've benefited from a lot over the years. And why is this personal for you? Um, I've had migraines and headaches for over half my life. Starting when I was in middle school, they became chronic, so more than half of the days of the month when I was in high school. So trying to be in school, graduate college, and work through all of that has been a challenge. And what do you want the lawmakers that you're going to meet with tomorrow uh, to know? Um, It's definitely more than a headache. It affects how I function on every single level. It affects how I am able to think. It affects cognitive functioning, being able to speak, being able to think clearly, and even the, they can be triggered by things around you. So, you know, scented products and lights and everything. It's it's not just something that you experience with with pain. It, It is something that you think about constantly and trying to manage. And it's so important, and I know that they'll be receptive to our message and look forward to the great work that you're going to do. Thank you. I'm here today with Dr. Nehas, who is an amazing neurologist and advocate who is no stranger to Headache on the Hill. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be able to talk to you. Can you Mm -hmm. explain to me, as a neurologist, why it's important to attend events like this? There are clearly a lot of reasons that advocacy is important. For this particular topic of headache and in the field of neurology, we need to raise more awareness in this primary field that is supposed to be really studying the brain and taking care of headache disorders. Now on the flip side of it, most of this is done in primary care and not necessarily in neurology, and neurologists often forget that this is really our wheelhouse. So any way that we can raise awareness and bring credibility to the field, a field which is, by the way, often forgotten and stigmatized professionally, not just personally and socially out out in the public. So these are just really scratching the surface of why it's so important for us to be here. And we're going to be speaking with some of our elected leaders and officials this week. What are some of the takeaways that you want them to hear from us? First and foremost, I think they also need to be aware of just how big a problem this is. People think of headache as something trivial that you can take something simple for and move on. But in reality, we know that for a lot of people that is just not the case. Particularly with migraine, it affects up to a quarter of households in America. When people hear that statistic, they're kind of floored by it because they didn't realize how common it is. And they also don't realize that it's more than just a headache. There are so many other symptoms that occur during the attacks that can cause incapacity even more than the pain does. And furthermore, it's not just about the attacks, it's about living with this problem, living with this disease that can strike at any time and how costly it can be to society. I so agree, and what do you want them to take away from our meetings? I want them to take away that headache is serious, it needs attention, and it needs to be fixed. Great, thank you so much for your time and all that you do for patients, I really appreciate it. Sure, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Talking Head Pain, the podcast that confronts head pain head on. If you like this episode, please give it an honest five-star rating and subscribe so you never miss another one. I'm Joe Co, and I will see you next time. Be inspired, supported, and empowered. This is the Global Healthy Living Foundation Podcast Network.